Pakistan Foreign Minister Bilawal Bhutto Zadari has said the country is facing a perfect storm of troubles posed by an economic, climate and terror crises. Pakistan, like other countries, is also beset by hyper-partisan and hyper-polarized politics, Zadari told the Associated Press. Pakistan is currently awaiting a tranche of $1.1 billion from the International Monetary Fund, IMF, an ex-local council candidate in a city in U.S., California has been charged with an alleged plot to burn down a Gurdwara. The accused, Rajveer, Raj, Singh Gill was arrested recently on suspicion of hiring hitmen to shoot some members of the concerned Gurdwara. In Bakersfield City, Gill had allegedly planned to commit the act due to a financial dispute. The U.S. has repatriated a suspected Al-Qaeda operative to Saudi Arabia from Guantanamo Bay after 21. Years following U.S. assessment that the man doesn't pose a threat to its national security. The man, Ghassan al-Sharbi, who was an engineer, was a suspect in the 9-11 attacks but he wasn't charged. Sharbi had reportedly attended college with two 9-11 hijackers. Australia PM Anthony Albanese, who is currently on a visit to India has said that there can be no solution to climate challenges without India's prime participation. Prime Minister Narendra Modi's remarkable goal for India to install 500 gigawatts of renewable energy capacity by 2030 will have a profound impact on the global energy transition, Albanese added. Prime Minister Narendra Modi and his Bangladesh counterpart Sheikh Hasina will virtually inaugurate the maiden cross-border oil pipeline between the two countries on March 18 for diesel. Transportation to Bangladesh. Delhi would use the 130 km long India-Bangladesh Friendship Pipeline. IBFPL which has been built at a cost of 346 crore rupees. The pipeline has been financed by India. Iran and Saudi Arabia agreed on Friday to re-establish relations and reopen embassies within two months after years of diplomatic tension. The agreement was reached after talks in Beijing, China. Saudi Arabia cut ties with Iran in 2016 after its embassy in Tehran was stormed during a dispute between the two countries over Riyadh's execution of a Shiite Muslim cleric. Giving the middle finger is protected as part of a person's right to freedom of expression under the Canadian Constitution. A judge has ruled. It is not a crime. Flipping the proverbial bird is a God-given charter enshrined right, the judge said. Judge Dennis Galatsatos said this as he dismissed a case against a man accused of harassing his neighbor in Montreal. The gunman who killed seven people in a Jehovah's Witness church in Germany's Hamburg on Thursday night was reported to be a former member of the community. The man was aged between 30 and 40 and wasn't known to authorities as an extremist. The report added, Police haven't yet released any information about the suspected gunman's motive for the attack. Australian PM Anthony Albanese called on President Draupadi Murmu at Rashtrapati Bhavan on Friday. The president expressed satisfaction about the growing defense and institutional engagements between the two countries, the president's secretariat said. A privilege to meet with the president of the world's largest democracy he Draupadi Murmu tweeted PM Albanese after the meeting. 
PM Narendra Modi and Australian PM Anthony Albanese were gifted their photographs made up by a collage of images of all cricketers who played for their respective countries in the last 75 years. The leaders were felicitated by BCCI ahead of the fourth test match between the two countries. As the match coincides with India and Australia's 75-year cricket ties. The Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences has rejected Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky's request to seek airtime during the Oscar ceremony. Variety reported. According to the report, the Oscars Academy have not yet given a reason for their refusal. This is the second time Zelensky tried to land airtime at the Oscars but failed. India's permanent representative to the UN Ruchira Kamboj has said that categorizing terrorism on the basis of motivations behind terrorist acts is dangerous, stating that there cannot be good or bad terrorists. Kamboj said such an approach will only take us back to the pre-9-11 era of labeling terrorists as your terrorists and my terrorists. Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Friday told reporters that he has seen reports of attacks on temples in Australia following his meeting with Australian PM Anthony Albanese in Delhi. I have conveyed this to PM Albanese and he has assured me that the safety and well-being of the Indian community in Australia is a priority for them, PM Modi added.